we are back again with the 1988 Jeep Comanche 4 liter inline 6 4x4 you guys remember this I am sure from the previous video that I put on the channel of it it is back home today and uh, you're gonna hear a lot of ring chimes in the background but we're gonna be washing it and cleaning it up so blast off and I want to show you guys this hood how nasty and disgusting Let's it do is a little line here. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That right there is what the whole thing is going to look like more than likely when we get done cleaning it because it is in good shape. The paint seems like it's not bad. The body's straight, no rust. I've got this cheap, just base Meguiar's soap that I'm going to use because I don't want to use the wash and wax on it quite yet just because it's, I mean, it's pretty dirty. Than a Hershey kiss. Hit all that there, look at. Oh yeah. It's good enough to keep. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it really does. This thing is only gonna appreciate in value. Any car guys out there know these things are only gonna go up in value. The more years that go by, the harder they are going to get to find. And I mean just look up online, you guys will see that. The likelihood of you seeing Ferrari is greater than seeing one of these on the road. How many did they make of these? Around 200,000 from what I've read. Every time I do see them, they are just total dumps that rotted out, beat up. I mean, you know that. You know why this is a pop above the rest? Because... 4x4. Four 4x4 four. Four four and... Well, because a lot of them are 2x4s. Uh, uh, I... Better than the V6, obviously, and better than the four-cylinder. This motor, 4.0. I mean, we could yeah. drain the oil right now and fill it with water, and it would start. We flying. could drive it a thousand miles, right? Probably drive it like that, and it would just clean the engine out, but the engine would be fine. I mean, oh yeah, pretty bulletproof. They last. Are so you willing to stake some money on that? Maybe a little. I don't know how much. Look at the mold around the Comanche lettering there. You can see. See a lot more there coming this. right off. Still got some more on the C there. C? A C? C. There you go, now spray. That's nice. nice. Those rims look like they're NOS. The rims are Original. surprisingly there in great shape. I mean that's filthy rims that need to be clean, but they're they're no there's not the brush on it, the, the uh, curb brush. You want to know what the guy said to me? The guy that I got it from. He tells me, uh, it's been used as a work truck. It's been abused. Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, I've seen vehicles that are abused. Yeah. I have too. And looking at this, I mean, neglected. Maybe? Yeah, I grew up around uh, vehicles that were abused. People that didn't know how to use their cars and take care of them. A car has a heart. A car has a soul car has life if you don't love a car if you don't love a, a car then you should be riding a bicycle better yet a i mean car is it, test it, before it, someone it, becomes a, something to where they have a family and they take care of a family if you yeah. can't take care of your car how can you take care of a family someday several stages of affection for a car you have a car friend that means you have a strong relationship with it you have a car that's maybe like a, a girlfriend. That means you, you, you are love. You, you will fight for it, and then you, you're, you have a love for it. Then you have a car that's like a wife. That means 
If you're doing it right, you're going to keep it from the beginning to the end, for better, for worse, richer, for poorer, sickness and health. That's the best one. And that's, that's the, the kinds classics. where you get the one owner classics that you bought new and you keep it when you buy it when you're young, when you're your age, you keep it till you're old and it, it becomes a classic. You had it from the beginning. Now that's a wife relationship. Again, I say, if you don't love or have an affection for the car that you have, then you need to ride a bicycle because cars are special. The truth is, cars are as important as people, animals. They're as important as anything. Everybody doesn't think that. I agree with that. But when you're a car guy, you have to think that. Don't call yourself a car guy if you don't believe it's not just a car. Hey, remember Fonzie said, it's not just a motorcycle. He said to Mr. Cunningham, he said, Mr. Cunningham, just a motorcycle? He said, and I suppose your mother was just a mother. I'm just spraying this here. Patrice. All right, yeah, I'll go over on the other side and see if anything's coming out. Up here's looking great so far. Oh my goodness, wow. Wow, huh? it's like caked mud all over the place, just pouring out from underneath. That is insane. You guys can see the mold that was on the truck, now on the driveway. And you can see the difference here. Whew, looking great. So we have a little bit of a film that's on here you can see I've already done this part up here we got a scrubber that we are just using ever so lightly just back and forth very lightly and it's taking that haze off of there just not even applying any pressure you just go back and forth and it takes that film right off of there again not even putting any pressure on this at all just enough to go back and forth and get that film off of there that way it doesn't leave marks so we're getting to the end of the cleaning here for the day anyway it's not completely finished but looking at the hood and the body it's just really a big difference compared to what it was you guys recall how nasty it was something that we're touching on now briefly dad has some wd-40 and also the the greenhouse type scrubber like we used for that film that was on the truck earlier and you'll notice that the truck's body is very straight but there are these scratches just from being used as a work truck throughout the years that have rusted and it has caused that film sitting out in the elements the winter and rain or what have you just causing it to to leave the rust marks and this right here is the before and after of cleaning with that WD-40 and then the house scrubber, the greenhouse scrubber, very, very lightly. The key is you have to do it lightly because you don't want to scratch the clear coat or paint by any means. That's the last thing you want to do. So just make sure you do it very lightly. And also afterwards, it is a good idea to go ahead and apply a wax of some sort, um, whether it be Mother's, McGuire, something along those lines, just apply something like that. And uh, it also wouldn't hurt to buff it just to give it that extra shine, which we're going to be doing that to this. But that's a big difference right there. And especially just how good it's cleaned up since the last video of the truck. So you guys remember the last one, uh, last video of the truck. We do have this trim piece here. It still is with us. So we've got all the trim and... Uh, the main goal with this thing in the midst of fixing it up is to really keep it original because it's extremely original but as it is it's extremely original but there's a lot of small things that we're gonna do by the time we're done it should look it came off the social the uh the showroom floor absolutely that's pretty exciting it really is and i'm really thinking to myself of course you feel the same way it's like an investment really because these are only going to appreciate they're only going to go up in value as they have over the past years if you guys can tell us before i find out for myself if i don't know something i'm a student i look it up i, I learn and i find out maybe you can save me some studying i don't know if uh it doesn't look like there was any paint or stickers on the lettering 
So if you know whether this came with the uh, a paint or stickers on it, because it looks like this is exactly how it came. It's so smooth, nothing was, there's no trace of what had been there. Mm -hmm. So you can tell us. Otherwise, it we'll keep it like it is. If we find it didn't have anything, but if it did, restore that and put, we're going to put those on too. Absolutely. Yeah. And then also, too, this right here goes bye bye and then spray on liner yeah, and get rid of the, the toolbox there. And, and the bed is solid, so I think a spray liner. And then we could also overlap the, the spray liner here, maybe, or to a certain extent to, to go along the bed rails. Exactly. All right, guys, this thing went from being a forgotten diamond in the rough that was just being neglected and sitting, not being used, not being appreciated, just rotting away, not rotting away because it's, it's in good condition, but you guys understand what I'm saying. Surprisingly, thankfully, it's just amazing the way this truck cleaned up. I am so excited, so thrilled that this thing went from being neglected, forgotten, to now it's on the path to be restored to its former glory, and it's being parked in a garage. I mean, it sat in the elements of winter, rain, heat, cold, and just being caked with mold, to now, this thing is show worthy. I mean, we could take this thing to car shows, and it would be definitely appreciated for what it is. You guys can see all of this years this ha several years has to be worth of dirt and mold on the driveway that i'm going to be spraying off here before i put the the vehicles back here in the driveway but i'm just so excited this thing is is able to to get cleaned up and restored to its former glory back on the road again soon and uh just going to be able to be preserved and just last for many years to come that that right there is what being a car guy is all about seeing vehicles like this brought back to life and just making them last so i appreciate you guys watching i do hope you like this video comment let me know your thoughts on the video definitely thinking about keeping this one so let us know your thoughts on that as well comment and let me know what you guys want to see more of on the channel or which one you think that if it was your decision if you would keep out of the 88 Comanche here or the 98 Z3 over there, which you guys have seen already. So be sure to drop a comment on that below as well. And in addition to that, subscribe today if you haven't already, rate the video before you go, and I will see you guys in the next one.